One of Meghan Markle's biggest fans is claiming that Princess Catherine's cancer is fake and even wondered if the Princess of Wales was still alive. Days after, she shocked the world by revealing she was undergoing preventative chemotherapy for an unspecified illness. I personally don't believe Kate has or had cancer, Jonathan Perkins, the director of race and equity in the University of California, Los Angeles Office of Equity, Diversity and Inclusion, wrote in a recent tweet, which was first reported by the Daily Mail. The royal's presumed cancer and chemo's mere vague mention would quash concerns re Kate's absence, and it mostly did. In other posts, the lawyer wondered if the princess was in a coma or dead and wrote that King Chuck and Kate don't deserve my respect. Jonathan Perkins, who once called Markle an American princess, worked at Harvard University and currently serves as UCLA's Director of Race and Equity. Perkins has spent recent weeks spreading vile falsehoods about the princess on his ex, formerly Twitter account. And according to tax file released by Archwell Foundation last year, Meghan and Harry donated to UCLA. So there's a shady plot from Meghan when she only paid or donated for a campaign to get a target, like bullying Princess Catherine. The Harkles donated money to UCLA so they can attack the royal family. Discrimination and internet bullying are just their excuse to fund it. UCLA received $250,000 from Archwell, in which Perkins earns $125,920 per year. Among his many recent posts about the princess, most malicious are his accusations that she's a known liar and that he doesn't believe she had or has cancer. He's also said that Kate doesn't deserve my respect, that she could be in a coma or dead and that the royal family is using the cancer card to cover for something else. On Easter Sunday, he cruelly joked, wait, isn't Kate supposed to rise today? Much like Bowsey, while Perkins seemingly has no qualms trashing Kate's integrity, he appears practically allergic to even the slightest criticism of Meghan Markle. Early last month, he tweeted, you realize whole tabloid departments are dedicated to making up crap about Meghan Markle. In another post, he shared a photo of the Duchess and wrote, FYI, this is an American princess, Meghan Markle's stan account. Perkins said that he's a cancer survivor himself. Being a cancer survivor doesn't give one the right to attack others battling for their health. What a complete lack of morals and compassion for others. He's gross. This is extremely inappropriate behavior for someone working in academia. People accusing Kate of faking cancer are the same type that were happy to cancel anyone who questioned Meghan's suicide story. UCLA is also the woman behind Amber Turd sporting her to defame Johnny Depp. And even after being proven in court she's guilty, they never apologized, only doubled down. They won't fire this guy because this guy's precisely the type of person that this organization wants. Harry and Meghan talk tough about the effects of online bullying and the need to correct misinformation, but yet here they are, eerily, conspiratorially silent about the lies spread on their behalf to defame others. Any celebrity worth a grain of salt would have issued a stern warning to their followers long ago that the hate campaign's vicious and will not be condoned.